It's my privilege to talk to you for a few moments. Um, I have always felt at home with this particular event because my father was a minister in this particular conference for about 27 years. So I have lived in a church parsonage and I know a little bit about your world. And for that reason, from the depth of my heart, I thank you for your ministry. I, I understand of some of what you face each day and as a lay person, I would like to thank you deeply. When the press calls, <laughs> When the press calls, it's not necessarily a bad day. I have lots of stories that I could tell you. If I told all of them to you, it would take a couple hours. I have five minutes. Let me assure you that some of the strongest witnesses that we have made as a body of believers has been in the midst of the turmoil created by whatever circumstance. Because you and I get to talk for free <laughs> about what we are about, what we believe. Larry Holden, if you know that name, is General Secretary of United Methodist Communications, uh, a man with a great mind that uh, he shares at Larry Holden, H-O-L-L-O-N, dot com. He has his own website. Wonderful insight. A number of years ago, he wrote a book, not a number, two years ago, he wrote a book called We Must Speak. Has anybody read it? I wish you would. It's not a big book, but it makes a great point, and that is in our culture, the message that we have been given, we must speak. To say no comment, or we don't want to talk about that, is not enough. God calls us someplace else. There is always something to talk about. When we meet the press, there are certain things that it's not appropriate to talk about. We can talk about that, that we want to do no harm to anyone. We believe in the value of every human being, and for that person, we have a very high responsibility to be responsible in how we reply to the press. The press will accept that. Uh, if they. <laughs> if they won't, you can say things like, I'm sure, press person, that with your experience, you can understand that persons like me cannot always reveal certain facts until we know the truth. The press wants the truth, we want the truth, and we'll find it together, and we will reveal what is appropriate at the appropriate time. Now, the favorite subject these days when my phone rings from the press is you know what. Uh, I think it's best to be honest about who we are and what we face as a denomination. We are not of one mind. We have never claimed to be uniform Methodists, am I right? We have claimed to be united Methodists. That's one of the strongest messages that we have to give the world around us. We are united. God has called us to the tension around certain issues. Would you agree? I think God has called us there. Therefore, I think we need to be responsible for that message, that we will work our way through our disagreements and do the best we can as human beings who have our own frailties we all do best to understand in the best way we can, but we will work our way through being united. Does that make sense? Let me tell you a couple things. One, one thing in particular that I am very grateful to be able to talk about, and that's not directly related to what I just talked about. Often we are in the midst of circumstances that have risen out of misbehavior. Those are embarrassing situations, but we are humans we make mistakes, okay? But we also believe in transformation, don't we? That's also a part of our loudest message that we can give the culture around us is we are persons of transformation and we do our best to work out that particular issue with folks. Uh, I'm particularly happy to be able to say to the press when someone has misbehaved or something inappropriate has happened we think we have done due diligence. We have trained 4,500 people around the conference. 
We have a group of 26 persons who train persons about a safe sanctuaries policy. And we think that's the best we as humans can do. And that's been a message that's been pretty well accepted. Now, what happens when the press does call your phone number or arrives at your place? Our policy is that you give me a call. You may have wanted to call me had you been giving some kind of an inkling that there could have been a press interest in some kind of an event that happened at your church. I like to know about those. I can prepare myself for the inevitable that there will be a phone call that we'll need to make some kind of a reply to. It also gives me time to pray, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, when a press person needs an answer to a question, you've been asked to send them to me and I will be glad to respond in the best way I can. Let me say in passing that I am very grateful for the trust that you passed on to me, and I take that very seriously. I hope I never break that trust. But I will do my best to reply to the press. Now, I need, we need to talk. I need to understand initially just the basics, okay? I don't want to know all the facts, every detail, because I want to be able to say to the press, I need some time to work on this for you. I need an hour and a half. And usually an hour and a half is acceptable in the industry. I will get a hold of you on the phone. We will talk about things that we can talk about or not talk about. Uh, and then I will get some more details and we will talk, we will discuss. I like to think that I'm not taking over. I'm, I'm coming alongside you. We will cooperatively wake, um, find our way through this particular situation. So let's talk. Let's come up with the talking points. To be real honest with you, if I were a press person, I would not want to talk to me. <laughs> I would want to talk to the pastor. Now, it's not unusual for institutions to have spokespersons for the institution. And so this is not all that unusual. But occasionally, it's been appropriate for a pastor to be the one who responds, if you're comfortable with that. Usually the answer is no, <laughs> and I do the talking. But if you're comfortable with that, uh, we'll do some uh, talking about talking points that you might use as you respond, and I'll give you the chance to speak. Some have accepted that. I could tell you a great story, but I don't have a half hour to do that either. Uh, but, but sometimes it's appropriate for you to speak, and, and I'll help you through that. Um, I think God has called us to a great time in history. I know we don't look at, at it that way on a daily basis, these are rather difficult times, but I think it's a great time for us to be the witness that we can be in press kinds of situations. Thank you very much.